y'all. Good morning. Oh, I need to let Chance in. I can hear him. Um, I'm just chilling on the couch. Morgan's up. He's just, I think he went to get ready. We're about to go um, on a walk, I think. Are you muddy? Ugh. Every time, y'all, we let him out, he digs over here. There's like a... I don't know. I want to lay rocks down so he can't. This is like his dig spot. I want to get like a bag of like gravel rocks or something and just fill in that strip because he doesn't really mess with the rest of the yard. And we don't want the, you know, the yard dug up, but also he's covered in mud every time he comes inside. So that's fun. But anyways, um, yeah, I think we're going to go on a walk this morning and um, it's only 10.30, we've been up since like eight, and just having coffee on the couch, relaxing, watching soccer. Well, Morgan's watching soccer. I'm responding to YouTube comments and stuff like that. Um, and we just got a waffle maker, so I think I'm gonna make waffles later. I'm really excited about that. Need to clean up the kitchen a little bit. We had the air fryer out last night. Um, we made some chicken nuggets. But, oh, I wanna show y'all this gate really quick. I didn't put this in a vlog yet. Um, we just installed it and it's really cool. So let me show you. It's an Amazon find. Really easy to install and like the literally the best. If you have a cat and a dog, um, especially if you have a dog interested in the litter box, you need this gate. Okay, so this is our guest room where we have the litter box like around the corner. But we got this gate so you can walk through it, obviously, easily. Um, but it has the gate for Hutch. So Hutch fits through there. Obviously, Chance doesn't fit through there. Maybe Hutch will give us a demonstration. But um, yeah, it's like a baby gate or whatever, but it's for pets so that they can go through too. And just so Hutch can reach his litter box and Chance can't. Um, but yeah, we're excited about it. And it was really inexpensive. I think it was like $48, which I guess that's kind of expensive, but I feel like for this like cool design, worth the $50. So I'll link this down below if you wanna get one on Amazon. All right, y'all, I just got back from our walk. We did about 10,000 steps. I think it was over three miles for sure, probably four something. Um, we took Chance and then brought him back because he was tired, and then we went out again for about three miles. So anyways, I've got a serving of chips. They're all, it's like the bottom of the bag, but a serving of that, the rest of a banana. Um, the rest of the banana is here on this sandwich. It's almond butter and banana sandwich. So I'm having that. Um, the total here, this is the almond butter I used. Just this bread, whatever, plain bread, and then just H-E-B, like, store brand chips. This is 605 calories. All I've had today is coffee, so this is um, kind of breakfast slash lunch. We're going to go to the pool today, have some White Claws, I think, so saving a little calories for that. Hey, y'all, so we just got to the pool at Morgan's apartment. He has his lease through June 30th, so we still have access to the pool. It's awesome. Um, there's a pool code, and he didn't know it. I used to work in apartments and a lot of the gate codes are the same. And so I knew the code to get in. He was very impressed with me. Go team. There's also nobody here, which is crazy. Yep. Like empty. And it's a beautiful Saturday. I'm so pumped. So anyways, we're gonna have some white claws and I'll talk to y'all later. I'm wearing my cobalt blue swimmy. I'll link it for you down below. I have a 15% off code and they have a lot of half off sales. So wait for a sale if there's not one. Okay, chat later. Cheers! Good morning. <laughs> You're so excited. Say good morning, Hachi. Good morning, Chance. Let's go potty. Oh, we're so excited. We're so excited. Big stretches. We got those big stretches. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Let's go potty. Hachi, you coming today? Maybe? That filter, we just, our AC went out and we had to get a new filter put in and I'm not sure why that one ended up right there, but we gotta throw that away. Hutch likes to come out in the mornings. Usually he'll like to eat the grass. Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, sweet boy. Let's go have some coffee, guys. Let's go have some coffee. <laughs> hey y'all good morning um it's <laughs> it's now sunday um i'm gonna make some coffee it's already 8 47 i've been up since like eight just um laying with morgan in that my, looks like there's something in my keurig water tank 
um, I've just been laying on my phone in there with Morgan. He um, doesn't feel good. I think he's a little sunsick and a little hungover. So yesterday we went on this walk. You can see I was wearing like a Razorback tank top and I put SPF 50 on my face because I wear that every day regardless, but I didn't put anything on my arms. We just didn't have anything. I didn't really think about it. Um, and look, like I'm burnt. You can even see on my back, like where the tank top was. <sighs> I hate that for me because I feel like I've gotten so good at wearing sunscreen. Um, like I wear an SPF 50 on my face every single day, no matter what. Um, and I got burnt at the beach the last time we went. And so since then I've been like super, just super good about putting on my sunscreen. And I didn't put on any yesterday when we went on this really long walk and I didn't even feel it burn. And we got back from the pool and I was like, wait, this is from, when I was wearing a tank top. You can't hardly even tell I had a swimsuit on at all. So that's not fun. But um, I'm gonna make some coffee. Oh, and he's like feeling really sick. I think he's sunsick, probably hungover. Um, he just said his stomach, like he just feels really nauseous. And um, yeah, that's, that's not good. So I'm gonna let him sleep. Hopefully he'll be able to sleep it off today because it's Father's Day and um, yeah, I'm gonna get the dishwasher. I just ran it yesterday. Um, today's Father's Day and we're going out to my parents' house for, we're doing like a fish fry. My dad's doing like a fish fry. And um, yeah, it should be fun. But I have stuff to do today. I me and Morgan, we're going to run them together, our errands, but I think I'll end up just going alone because I don't want him to go if he feels nauseous, obviously. Um, but I'm going to go to Trader Joe's today. So that's exciting. I've been to Trader Joe's in a while and I have a video idea that involves Trader Joe's. So all of our dinners this week are going to be Trader Joe's and there's going to be a really fun Trader Joe's dinners video coming out. If y'all hear my voice right now, <clears throat> <clears throat> I feel like my voice has changed a lot. Like, I don't know. It's like really weird to hear myself talk sometimes. Cause I'm like, is that my voice? I don't know. Anyways, um, tell me if you think that I sound different right now because I feel like the way that I'm hearing myself literally doesn't sound like my voice at all. And it's like, I don't know. This is really bizarre. <laughs> Anyways, um, what? You gotta go outside. Okay, hold on. We'll pick this back up. Hey y'all, so um, I'm about to make something to eat and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I got a video up. Well, I need to make a thumbnail, but it's on YouTube, just not public yet. Um, but it's 11.25, I'm gonna make something to eat really quick because if I don't eat now, then I'm gonna miss my meal and then it's just my day is gonna be thrown off. So we're gonna eat and I'm gonna use a waffle maker. And I'm really excited because I've never owned a waffle maker and now I do and it's just a very exciting moment. So the company that sent me the um, larger white air purifier that I showed when I lived in my old apartment, I'm obsessed with it. We turn it on every single day in our living room. I just love the quality. I feel like it's easy to use. It has great features. Like I'm just obsessed with it overall. So um, they have other products there on Amazon, which I love, but they also have their own website and they have other like gadgets and stuff. And they were nice enough to send me a few and I'm really excited. Um, I, I really don't say a lot, like, yes to a lot of companies to work with them. Um, I've, even seen, I've even recently had to cut ties with a company that I just felt like wasn't very good to me and I just couldn't justify that. And I just thought, okay, their customer service isn't very good, so I cut ties there. But um, this brand, Alec Holmes, Alec Holmes, has been wonderful to me. I feel like they are easy to contact, all of their stuff is really great. I haven't had any issues with any of the quality and I feel like everything is packaged well. Everything works really well. So this is what it looks like. It's a square. Actually, I don't even know. Oh, it has a lock. Cool. Okay, so just so y'all can see what I'm saying. There's like an unlock and a lock mode. Hutch, please get off the counter. Thank you. And then this is the style. So you get two big square ones and then right here it says pan out. So that's so you can take it out. I would assume. Yep. You press that, pop 
pops out really easy to clean. I love that. And then the top is the same way. So you can just take, press the button and it pops right out. So awesome. And this is kind of, so y'all can see. So here's the heating and you just click it in. I've never had a waffle maker, so I don't know if that's standard. Let me know. But I feel like that's a cool feature because I know a lot of people hate cleaning waffle makers. I always just thought you had to clean it within here, but it actually comes out and that's so easy. So there is that. Now let's get to making some waffles. They also, well, before we do that, I want to show, show you all this. Um, I'll have to use this in a different video because I won't be here for dinner and don't really have anything to chop today. Um, but they sent me a food chopper too. So it's like a little food processor and I'm excited. This will be way easier. Um, I can already tell it's a lot lighter than pulling out my Ninja, um, which is like a food chop. It's like a food processor, a blender. It's like a lot of things. Um, but how perfect. So I'll feature this in another video and let y'all know what I think of it as I use it. But today I'm definitely going to use the waffle maker, a little Sunday brunch. I'm excited about it. Um, unfortunately, Morgan isn't feeling good, so he doesn't get any waffles today. But um, maybe he'll make some this week when I'm not here. But let's get to it. Okay, so this is the mix I'm going to be using. I always get this one from HEB. You just add water, so the only calories you have are what's on the box, which is only 140 calories per 40 grams. Okay, y'all, waffle maker, nine out of 10. The only reason I'm giving it a nine is because I wish that it beeped when it was ready versus just the light because you have to like keep an eye on it. Other than that, perfect. It didn't, it cooked very evenly. I feel like over the whole waffle, um, it, it's got like a little bit of a crunch, but the inside is super fluffy. The middle is completely cooked. Like couldn't be happier. Never had a waffle maker, never made waffles myself. So easy. Highly recommend. So I will leave a link for you for this down below. And if you need a food chopper, I will leave that link for you too. Um, and I'll feature it in a coming video if you want to know more about it and um, do a little tutorial recipe or whatever with a chopper. So that's the plan. I'm going to eat and then I'm going to re get ready and go to Trader Joe's. Okay, so this is the OOTD showing off the beautiful sunburn. I've had this shirt literally forever. One of my like best before photos from um, before I lost weight is in this shirt and I love that it still looks cute. Um, you know, it's just a ride or die kind of shirt. It has adjustable straps, so that helps a lot and it's got like a really, um, what do you call it? Like stretchy back. So it fit me when I was bigger and it still fits me now. It's not like hanging low or anything like that. So just a fave. I've had it for like eight years. Couldn't even tell you where I bought it. Probably Dillard's. No idea. Um, and then these shorts are just American Eagle sandals from, um, Target maybe. I'm not sure. No idea. But yes, that's the OTD. Morgan's getting something out of my car really quick. Um, my dad gave us a mower, like a, it's not one that like has a motor. You just like push it and it like is a wheel. <laughs> so we're going to see if that works. He's getting that out of my car, um, but he's going to stay here because he doesn't feel good. And hopefully he'll feel good enough to go to the Father's Day fish fry with me. So we'll see, but let's go to Trader Joe's and maybe get a nice coffee. Can I have a triple shot of espresso on ice in a venti cup? You said a triple espresso for, for what? I'm sorry. Uh, on ice in a venti cup. Okay, no problem. So I have one triple espresso in a venti cup ice. No problem. What else can I get for you today? That'll be it for today. Thanks. Uh, okay, 7037. I have enough window. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay. We back on the espresso. I was going to go to Whole Foods yesterday because I'm out of the Cool Brew, which is literally Starbucks espresso in a bottle. I'm not kidding. It tastes the exact same. The ratio is the same. Three shots of that, three shots of espresso. It's great. Um, these glasses are like hurting my nose. And I forgot my other ones. I think these are going to be the same because... No, these are better. Okay. So, anyways, I feel like I look so weird in these. I can't. I just can't wear these. It's not even sunny. It's, like, cloudy out. <laughs> so, anyways, um, the cool bird tastes just like Starbucks. It's a little bit cheaper overall. It's just a lot cheaper, actually. And, um, oh, do you see these people backing up? Why can't y'all see them? Where are they? They just got behind me. There they are. And they backed up the whole way. Anyways, um, but I have to get at the Whole Foods by my work and I forgot to go. I didn't really want to go on my lunch break. I just didn't feel like leaving. Um, and I try to go to Dunkin' because it's so convenient to where I live and I pass it on my way to work. Like, it's amazing. I just swoop right in. But they get it wrong. Unless I order, like, a regular coffee, which their iced lattes are fine, but... When you order espresso, they either put it in a hot cup with like a cube of ice or they give me like a massive full to the top cup. And I'm like, that's not what I want. And it's just frustrating. So I need to get the cool brew, but I don't have any. So I wanted an iced coffee and I'm going to put in the iconic protein in cafe latte. Y'all, this stuff is awesome. And they just gave me a code. Oh my gosh, I forgot. They gave me a code. I'm going to, um, like promote them more on Instagram, but you already know I've shown this in my videos before. Um, we just got to talking as I like tagged them and stuff. So, um, 20 grams of protein, only 130 calories per serving, which is a little bit less than the premier protein one. Not that that's like super important. Um, to me, what I think is important is this doesn't hurt my stomach like the premier protein. Um, and I think that it's the carrageenan, carrageenan? whatever that is, because this one doesn't have it and the other one does have it. Um, oh, it's lactose free. Ah, I need to message the girl. Somebody messaged me and I was like, no, I don't think that it is. I'm an idiot. It literally says right here, lactose free. Yes. I want to tell her that's exciting. So anyways, um, yeah, I really like the cafe latte one. I've had the vanilla also good. So I'll keep you updated as I drink more, but I really I really do love this. It's so good. So I'm excited to have my little Starbucks for the day. Um, I've been to Home Depot. I got my dad his Father's Day request, which was new um, work gloves for the land. Okay, so I got my Starbucks and they had it filled more than it's ever been filled before. And it had like foam, like it must've been fresh. They like, well, it's fresh every time, but you know what I mean? Like I think it, they dumped it and immediately handed it to me in a cup, which I'm, I'm grateful for. But it is, I could hardly pour, I mean, not even half of my drink in there. And so it is woo, strong. It is coffee to the max, but I kind of love it. I'm not gonna lie, kind of amazing. Probably drink a few sips and then um, add some more because it is like a little, which was a little bit sweeter. But once I get down a little bit, we should be good. Amazing though, love that. Try the iconic if you haven't, if you have like stomach issues after drinking from your protein, um, because truly that was my issue before. I never, it would be like sharp stomach pain, really weird really weird, but I don't get that anymore. And it's amazing. And I love this stuff. And I used to feel bad about drinking premier protein because I just felt those pains. So I'm like, Oh, this is just so bad for my body. My body doesn't like this, but I just love this drink so much that I would have it once a week and I kind of was able to manage it. But now that I have the iconic, like I don't feel bad. I'll put the cafe latte just on ice at work. Um, and drink that in the afternoon to get extra protein, kind of a boost of caffeine. If I'm feeling like um, sluggish or whatever. And it's awesome. I just love it. But I also love it with the espresso. So anyways, headed to Trader Joe's. I will catch up with you guys um, after and I'll show you a little bit of a haul. And then there's going to be a really exciting Trader Joe's video coming out with lots of meal ideas. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to share. So chat in a bit. Are you 
Okay, y'all, I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's haul. Things are everywhere, so bear with me. But I picked us up one of the chocolate hummus packs. We love this stuff so good. It's just a nice little treat. And the like macros and nutrients are not bad at all. Then I picked up the um, basil pesto. That's gonna be for the dinner's video recipe, or recipe video, tzatziki. Um, oh, these are H-E-B. I didn't mean to pull those out. I thought these were the Trader Joe's ones. I just bought more green beans from Trader Joe's. Um, baby spinach, I had to pull stuff back out because I forgot to do a haul. Um, these are frozen edamame. Um, I don't really think these are gonna be for this week, but we've been talking about doing a spicy sauce. Um, it's like a recreation from a place around here that I love to eat at. Some pot stickers, some mushrooms for my uh, lunch. I'm gonna do like a pasta dish. Two Roma tomatoes. Their Roma tomatoes are 19 cents and I just love that. Some minced garlic. One of the frozen brown rice packages just to have um, on hand. Stir fry vegetables. Over here we've got this pizza crust for a dinner recipe. Some pita bread for a dinner. These pita bite crackers just for some hummus that we already have on hand. I love these. Um, this is gonna be the pasta for my lunch. That video will be in, that recipe will be in the other video, I think, as well. Um, she'll put them all together. Oh, and I got um, this organic peanut butter. It's just, um, it's just peanuts are the ingredients. So I thought that was pretty good. I got this really for Morgan. Uh, peanut butter with just peanuts. So. Anyways, um, and then I picked up these puffins. I found these through Becca Bristow. She buys them for her husband. Um, so I got them for Morgan one time and they're just so good. So we keep buying those um, peanut butter, the peanut butter ones. They're just delicious for a little sweet treat or a breakfast. I got two cards for some special friends that I wanna mail. Um, this is their pizza sauce, picked that up. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, okay, this was kind of a splurge. Mac and cheese bites in the air fryer. I'm dying. It's going to be so good. These are the green beans I picked up for a veggie to go with a dinner. I picked up a juice. This is actually I'm taking out to my parents' house because I think we're having mimosas in the afternoon. I don't know. Picked up a juice. They said they needed some chicken for the pasta this week. Um, two packs of the vegetable fried rice. One for dinner. One to just have on hand. Two zucchini. Some of the gyro slices. The riced cauliflower stir fry. Amazing. And I picked up some sausage, so I got the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. I know that Morgan will like that one, and it's for a dinner recipe, so instead of like the sweet Italian, I decided to go with this one. I just think overall he'll like it better, and I've been kind of into spicy things. So hopefully those are pretty good. We're gonna try their smoked andouille sausage. Also, some turkey corn dogs. Now this would be a good lunch for Morgan. Um, since we didn't use our do our typical HEB run, I was trying to pick up a few lunch options for him, and then we should have some dinner leftovers as well. Some gyoza dipping sauce, that's me for a recipe. Some of the chimichurri rice, haven't tried this, but I'm really excited to try it. A cucumber, the spinach artichoke dip. This is actually gonna be the sauce for my pasta dish, I think. So I'll have this idea on Pinterest, we'll see how that goes. And then I also picked up an organic cheddar cheese. We like to just have a block of cheese on hand every week just because it's delicious. So it's a little snack we have in the afternoons. And I think that's everything. Hey y'all, so I'm home now, but I'm leaving. I ran in, did the Trader Joe's haul really quick, chatted with Morgan, packed a bag, and then ran out. Morgan is still like not feeling good. He ate, he was like, I felt good enough to eat, so I ate that pizza, I ate that pizza, and he's like, mm, he doesn't, now he really doesn't feel good. So that's a bummer. He's just sick from White Claw and Sun. I think, I think that's what it is. I'm not really sure, but he doesn't feel good regardless. Um, and so I just packed a little, bag um for work because we're gonna be drinking out of my parents house and i'm not gonna obviously drink and drive so i'll probably stay out there tonight um i forgot to show y'all i got oh did i show you all this i think i showed you this what i didn't show you are the ginger mints so i bought well four of these my dad is obsessed with these he loves them anytime i go to trader joe's i stock up for him he is a mint fanatic so i got those and then we got um some truly lemonades i don't know that i like truly uh i'm like a huge white claw fan and i've just heard a lot about the truly so we decided to try them we got like a 12 pack but i just packed six for myself um to put in the cooler i don't feel like bringing the whole case was like really excessive and morgan wants to try them at some point too so i left the rest at home and yeah that's pretty much it i got my work clothes i'm still drinking my coffee 
it's like 3 30 right now and yeah i'm just gonna head out to my parents i'll try to get some footage there but if not thank you for watching today's vlog um all info anything that i mentioned will be down below the waffle maker the link all of that stuff um i'll link for you down below if you want to check it out and yeah morgan loved it I, by the way i gave him that other waffle and oh my gosh we were dying so good um, and then he found a recipe where, which I've seen this before, but he showed me a TikTok and it's cinnamon rolls and you put them down in the waffle maker and then you top it with the icing. So that's on the list of things to make probably next weekend for our brunch. I feel like that's just going to be freaking delicious. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stick around. I would love to have you. Um, give this video a thumbs up. That really, really supports my channel and I appreciate it. And yeah, comment down below if you want to chat. I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.